Hello! In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to make a paper plate hummingbird. So what you need for this is a paper plate and then something to draw with, so a marker or a pencil or a crayon, some glue, some watercolors, you can use pan watercolors or liquid watercolors, some scissors, paintbrush, and water. So first what I wanted to do is you take, take a clean paper plate and we're going to draw all the pieces of our hummingbird onto one paper plate here. So you want to start with the head, draw a circle for the head, and then we want to try to do kind of a long oval, this is going to be his body, and then let's get the wing in here, it kind of curves around like that, and then there's a tail, and then a beak. They have a long skinny beak. So now we get to color these with our watercolors. I'm just erasing the pencil marks because they will show through my watercolors. So I want to make sure that I have them all taken care of. Okay, so now we want to color the various parts of our hummingbird. We take our paintbrush, dip it in the water, and then we want to dip it in our watercolors here. Get a nice color. You don't want too much water because then it becomes really watery. If you don't have enough water, it becomes a little pasty. So you can always adjust your watercolors however you need. If you want to change colors, don't forget to rinse off your brush so it doesn't get, so you don't get all the colors mixed up. So I'm just going to use just various colors to color my little hummingbird. Some pretty blues and greens and purples. I am going to do his little tiny beak in orange. And some pretty, maybe a red color for his tail. I like to use the outside of the paper plate for the tail because it had the little ridges in it. See, I got too much water there. So I'm going to tap off my excess water. Make a nice pretty purple here. And for the head, I think I might go back to some green. Maybe a little bit of orange. Okay. So once you have all the pieces of your hummingbird painted, now what you can do is make sure that you let it dry. You can let it dry in the sun or overnight, or you can get a hair dryer out, but you want to make sure you let it dry before we move on to the next part. Now that your paper plate is dry, you want to make sure that you can uh, cut out along the lines all the different parts of your hummingbird. So as, you, as you can see, I started cutting mine out already. Got a body, a beak, a head, a tail, and here's the wing. And I did my tracing or my, my, uh, made my parts with a nice thick marker so I know where it is and I cut inside the line so that I have a nice smooth color. And then the last thing we do, well, second to last maybe, using some stick glue, we want to go ahead and assemble our hummingbird. So we've got a head here. We want to have our that like that and like that. So if we flip it around, we have the tail coming down from the bottom. Here's our head and our beak and his wings are up in the air because they're always constantly beating. You can, when you have all these glued together, you can add a little eye, you can add um, any sort of, you know, a little mouth that's smiling, but that is an easy, the easiest way to make a watercolor uh, hummingbird. So you have all the parts there, you just glue them all together, put a little eye there and you are done.